Now, your storm track weather with Chief Meteorologist Matt Miller. We've seen light snow showers developing to the north and trying to reach the ground, having a little success of actually reaching all the way to the surface just yet. But that'll likely change later on this evening and into early tonight with a chance for some light snow. Of course, the amounts will be on the light side as well. We're looking at sunny and breezy weather as we head into somewhat the day tomorrow will clear out and then Friday looks even windier and even uh, looks like even sunnier through the bulk of the day on Friday. Clouds will then return in as we head into Saturday and by Sunday occasional rain moves in. So a little cold snap lasting about the next 36 or so hours and then after that start to see some improvement. Right now it's cloudy, dry at Junction City, cloudy and dry at Emporia. This will likely change later on this evening with some scattered areas of light snow moving in. But a cloud cover certainly been thickening up through the afternoon hours. Current temperature is still well above freezing at 42 degrees in Topeka. Wind chill at 35 as the northerly winds have kicked up to 14 miles per hour. The colder air is still to the north and will steadily move southward. We started at 21, made it to where we've been in the last couple of hours, around 44, and now we're back to 42. 27 at Marysville. Blue Rapids is down to 28. Hiawatha is down to 28. And that cold air continues to move steadily southward, tacking on a 10 to 15 mile per hour north and northeasterly wind. The wind chills have already fallen into the middle to upper teens across counties adjacent to the Nebraska border. And again, steadily moving southward as we head throughout the evening hours. A little bit of light snow. Very little of this has been reaching the ground, especially on the Kansas side. We've not had any reports of snow at any of the airports statewide at this point in time. It's just cloud cover producing the precipitation, failing to get that to reach all the way down to the ground. But as this disturbance over Wyoming continues to get a little closer, it should enhance the precipitation just enough that it will finally start to reach the ground, giving us areas of some light snow. And I think Future Track is painting a picture that looks a little bit more ominous than it will actually be because not every bit of this will reach the surface. Until we get this band picking up a little bit heavier, especially just south and southwest of the area, we may get a, a dusting or very minor accumulations north of that band, especially over the southern counties. But then that'll drop to the south, and by morning, it's clearing out. Mostly sunny weather tomorrow, mostly clear tomorrow night, mostly sunny again on Friday. Then things start to change up this weekend. The cloud cover will start to build back in. I think Saturday will be dry. Sunday, the showers start up, kind of rounds of showers expected through the daytime on Sunday. Could mix with a few flakes Sunday night or into Monday morning before that system exits on out. Tonight, we drop down to 21. Northeast winds 10 to 15. Best chance for snow will be in the first half of the night. And then after that, we start to dry out, clear out. And by tomorrow, we're looking at partly cloudy cold with a high of 32 two degrees, but it does look to warm up then beyond that as we head into the next couple of days. Friday 44 sounds better, but it will be breezy, so it's not going to feel a lot better until we get into Saturday. Partly cloudy to mostly cloudy late and a high of 51. Rain becomes likely on Sunday and then a chance maybe for a few more rain or snow showers into Tuesday of next week. But today is Wednesday.